Hello my beautiful and less beautiful friends and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War with the Stay in the Steel mod where we play as the Byzantium Empire in a, well, effortless run so far, maybe not the right word but still, to try and restore the Roman Empire to its once grandiose size. So far so good because we got rid of the Seljuk Turks in the last episode through our Order of Assassins, they did a very good job and now we are just cleaning up some rebel settlements. Currently I don't think we're at war with anyone, nope, just the rebels, but we have made new friends as well through a marriage alliance with Venice, who will be quite a powerful ally. You might have to correct me on this, but I think historically Venice has always been a very important ally to the Byzantium Empire, but I might be wrong on that. Someone will correct me. Um, besides that, we also, of course, gained a truce of sorts with the Crusader State, so that allows us to just pick off the last rebel settlements in the Levant. Sorry, the Levant is more south. In uh, Turkey. And then, hopefully, we can get our faction leader crowned, and that will reduce the negative impact that, well, our succession will have, because our faction leader, of course, is not immortal. He will die at some point. So, yeah, we'll have to see. There's still Armenia Minor here. Damn, Armenia is big in this mod. Uh, and then up here, Paphlagonia. Orders. So Andronicus... Wait, I'm just trying to think here. Andronicus is my faction head, right? So I was sending him to try and take Continue this settlement mind. here, but we also need to assassinate the, the rebel leader. Okay, so I think I did everything in this turn. There is still a marriage proposal here, but I'm going to ignore that. Uh, where is my princess? Because I'd love to get another... Oh, uh, I was sending her towards Hungary. Uh, sorry, Serbia. I don't know my geography. Um, but it might be beneficial to maybe try and talk to the Germans, the Holy Roman Empire. Even though they are falsely using that name, I could still respect them. I'm going to send some troops over towards Thessaloniki. Uh, although I'll wait yes. a little bit, because we need to get rid of this rebel army here. Okay. I know I'm not playing this mod as well as it deserves to be played. There are a lot of small details and big details. Uh, things, administrative business most of the time that I just don't really participate in. But I'm going to hide behind the fact that this is my first time properly playing this mod. So I'm sure I'll pick up more and more things as we go along. Uh, the same thing happened with Divide and Conquer. I know a lot of you look at me as like, oh, this guy knows everything about Divide and Conquer, even though I still make a lot of mistakes. But that's simply because I think I got almost 2,000 hours in Medieval 2, and I think at least 1.5k of that is just strictly in Divide and Conquer. So I also need to rectify something. Apparently in the last episode I mentioned that the Rus, the Kievan Rus, uh, were Russian, which is of course not the case. I mean, the borders aren't exactly what they are today, but they're more Ukraine than Russia, which is a very important distinction. Okay, that's not my dude, which is good. But still, it's quite a big deal, because Serbia is a loyal ally of mine, so... But my faction ad is still trotting along. <laughs> How old is he at this point? 59. I mean, by today's standard, that's not that old. That's not even retirement age, jeez. Not even close. But... I mean, the medieval times, eh, that's getting up there. Although, of course, the average life expectancy is greatly brought down by just childbirth, death, or both. So, okay. Well, there's some mercenary units here, but nothing too crazy. I could plop a watchtower here, but watchtowers are quite expensive. Then again, I do have the money. But once I take this territory, I should place my watchtowers more towards Trapezos. And it seems the army that tried to take Trapezos actually got beaten, which is quite a big deal. So that opens up possibilities. Yeah, you need to do that. And then Andronicus, make your way over there. I want to transport some troops of Ankara. I got a lot of Skutatoi. I'm going to plot them in Kaisaria. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I want to gather an army. One, two, three. I want this Mortatoi as well, these guys. I want an army to try and take Trapezos, and I also want an army to try and take Malatia. We still have our work cut out for us, but I'm going to need more generals. So if one of these guys grows up to be military-minded, they're going straight to the front line. Could also send over some troops to try and get rid of these rebels. Okay. 
I know I should do that all the time. Ah, we got a new coming of age. Antonios. You look quite military minded. You're 14, you're already wearing chainmail and a hauberk, which is quite impressive. Nightfire Virile. Okay, aloof. That's a <laughs> great combination. Nightfighter understands logistics. I think he's actually is administratively minded, but I think I can still breed him to be a, a general. He definitely has the abilities to. Uh, okay. Corinthos got the quarries. Nice. Guess we can go for farms there. 20 turns. Sebastia got the open pit mines repaired. Good. That will make things cheaper. I'm going to get another assassin. I really want to get a full guild going here. Um, yeah, and then we'll send over this guy to try and take Malatia, which is that part of my historical terrain? It isn't. But it's not too far off either. I really think it's just Sinope. Maybe Trapezo. I can't tell. I guess that is also a Trapezo that I need to capture. So maybe I should go for that first. I'm going to put my priest a bit closer to this settlement just as a bit of a scout. Malatia, what have we got here? Okay. Nothing too crazy, it seems. It's only just a wooden wall which has been damaged. The Zengits are trying to take it. Gulam Lances. Okay, okay, interesting. It is quite unfortunate that I'm playing in an area of the world that I know so very little about. Okay, all these guys are now in training. That's good. So I got these boys in Nikaya. The moment one of these guys gets of age, he's getting an army. These are also all family members, right? Family member, family member, family member, yeah. So they're going to be quite important for my legacy. Uh, can I get some extra troops over to Thessalonike? I can do that, and then next turn we'll attack this guy. Because I think rebel armies, if you allow them to fester, I think they just become stronger. You are very slow, princess. Very well. Should invest in a horse. Uh, I got some extra money, so I can invest a little bit. I think Cyprus might actually be quite good to turn into a military base. So getting a practice range or a mustering hall there will be quite beneficial. Chandakas, maybe same deal here. It is a town, but I'm thinking of converting it to a cat, although it's bringing in a lot of money. Fine, we'll go for farms there. Arta, that's a town. Could go for a well, but... I'll get a green exchange. I need to spend my money more. There's no point in me holding on to it. Leather Tanner, does that still give money? No, it actually costs money. Then I'm not going to build that willy nilly. The Salonike, um. Could go for a militia barracks, but nah. Food import, is that good? Mm, yeah? No? No. No. I forgot what buildings are good and what aren't good. Which ones aren't good? We speak English very well. Adrianopolis. Yeah, ports always seem like a good idea. Then we got some money left. Yeah. That. Okay, so we'll move on to Sinope. Then we'll move on to the other place that I already forgot the name of. And that should be my crown taken care of. And that will soften the succession quite a bit. And that will also put me in a stronger position to... I'll try and decide in which direction we'll expand to next, but I don't think I'm going to expand with my current Emperor. Seeing as he's getting quite a bit older, I'm going to make use of his aging wisdom to chill out a little bit and prepare for the wars to come. And I think in order to do that, I'm going to have to establish quite a strong spy network, just so I've got a good idea of what's going on in the world. And possibly... Oh, hello, Serbia. We're still allied, right? I'm going to have to check that. Possibly make some alliances of my own. We'll see, though, we'll see. I mean... Elegazids invade Georgia. That's not too far away from me. Shams ad-Din Ildeniz. I probably butchered that pronunciation. Game strategy. The Elegazid raids are likely to occasionally harass Georgia for some time until the bigger power would suppress them. <laughs> well, don't look at me. Uh, you're 48. That's way too old, mate. Oh, no. He's still alive, right? The traits of a father and mother can sometimes be the most important determinants of a child's character, and this is no different in the ship. In order to capture this, a sophisticated system with hundreds of triggers, no doubt, has been put in place, providing the player with real incentive to care for one's generals and their families. Oh, this is like The Sims, man. 
Of course, you may adopt generals from outside the family or find captains who have distinguished themselves on the battlefield, but in most cases they will have inferior traits in comparison to those generals born into the family. Yeah, there's nothing like a little bit of inbreeding, am I right? Uh, okay, in particular, the faction leader has achieved one of the following Max Authority of Piety, won a numerous heroic battles, has ended another faction's existence. So I should actually breed with my assassin then, because he should have that trait. You're right. Great. Let's get murdering. You. Show me the video. Ooh, I think this one's new. Is that him? Looks like him. Oh, that's definitely the assassin. Oh, we got the POV. I think this one's gonna fail. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, is that a kill shot? Stab him in the shoulder. Quick hide in the hay bale. Oh, okay. Was that a lethal attack? I think one could recover from that. Okay, well. We got an extra 1.5k Florence, which I'll happily spend. And the general is gone, which also means the full general's bodyguard unit is, well, no longer a problem. So let's lay siege to Sinope. Get rid of them, and then march on to Trapezos, which I really need to capture. If the other faction captures it, then... I think I'll just buy it off them. I really, really need Trapezos. I'm just trying to look at the map here. I need to own, like, all of Turkey at the very least. Yeah, that makes sense. Mate, don't do this to me. We're n we just got peace not too long ago. He's definitely going to try to take Malatya. I hope he fails and then just softens up the garrison. I might have to send over an envoy to try and talk to the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, to the Crusader States. Maybe we need to get a strict alliance. But then again, I don't want to get dragged in all the wars they're facing. These guys are being shafted all over the place. Oh, they're only at war with the... So they've brokered a treaty with Egypt. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So they might actually now try and go for me. Which wouldn't make a lot of sense, but... It is what it is. Perhaps I need to send another message. This is my best assassin, right? Yeah. Am I taking down a person? I'm sorry, mate. Have we seen this? Is the snake one? Oh no, it's t <laughs> the nuke. Come on, lay it on him. I'm sorry if you get tired of these videos because I never will. Yeah. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs> Will I be able to assassinate another faction? I... I can. Alright, nice. Oh, I have a new assassin as well, right? Uh, where did I train you? Nikaya? No. I trained a new one, did I not? Assassin, assassin, assassin... Sebastia. Oh, okay. I missed him somehow. Maybe you should, like, get rid of Captain Sammy. Damn, you are quite a... Bad assassin. Is sabotage easier? 36%. Sure, try it. Okay, you fail, but you're still alive. And then you... There was another assassin. Where is he? Those are my spies. There was another assassin. Oh, no, wait. I got three assassins. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm being silly. Okay. Pass on to the next settlement. Is there anyone in here? Gibo the Scad. If I get rid of him, Antiochia would have no garrison. I could just waltz in there and take it. <laughs> Not saying I will, but I can. I'm quite annoyed that this guy is now coming over because I wanted to move the troops out of Caesarea. I'm definitely going to have to get a bigger garrison at Sebastia. Um, I'm definitely going to move some cav over. Uh, you, Scudatoy, go to Spastia, and you, wait here. Okay, you guys, still not aging. 16, 18, 14, yeah, okay, good. Anything else? Atalea. Wouldn't mind a garrison quarters there. Definitely want to invest more in the quality of my troops. We're still allies, right? Yeah, then I... Don't see him attacking me, but hey, you never know. All right, let's get a battle done. Uh, let's get rid of these rebels here. I'm going to get my general involved. Yes. We will engage 
Oak, Pak Homios. He's got some Pronario. Uh, peasant Infantry, Scudatoi. Or Scudate, I should say. Psile, Toxate. Okay, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oops, don't load the game. Save the game and let's jump in. There's no need for a fancy speech, mate. This is going to be one of the easiest battles we've done. But let's not get cocky and let's give the enemy some respect. I mean, they're literally a peasant uprising and my cab alone could probably trample them. But still, give them respect where it's due. Okay. Are they moving forth? No, then we shall... Oh, they are moving forth. Let's run to an next position just to make sure we're in range. They are delightfully coloredish, though. They got like little shields. Do we have little shields? Oh, we do have little shields. Nice. I really like those little shields. I mean, do they ever save a person? I really don't think it really helps all that much, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, you're running off, mate. That is annoying. I'm gonna see if I can charge their archers and maybe harass them with my skirmishes. Because their cab is quite far away from them. They're really abandoning them. You're on your own, peasants! As the local lord that is leading the uprising just abandons them. Come on, boys. Hurry up. Why are you so slow compared to them? Peasant infantry. Damn, they look sad. Well... You got shafted, mate. I do apologize, but it's the truth. Careful for the scooter toy. That cab is so far away from the rest of them. Okay, charge them. Cataphract's running straight into a archer unit. Ah, that's gonna wreck you. Peasant infantry getting destroyed. I'm mostly scared of the scooter toys, so if you could javelin your way through them, that would be quite nice. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Nice. Cav is coming in. Get in position, lads. Destroying the scooter toy? Yeah, nice. I always think they say camel time, which, I mean, I'm sure that's a thing, but wrong faction, mate. See, I'm running way ahead of myself, and I don't know if there will be a sequel to uh, the Byzantium campaign, but if there is, I think I might play as a Muslim faction, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, are there a lot of Islamic campaigns on YouTube? I don't think so, I don't think I know of any and again I will have to brush up my history a lot otherwise I'm probably gonna say a lot of wrong things and maybe even downright offensive things all right scooter toy oh that was close we are blessed the enemy general oh he died on the charge I think because he charged right into my uh, spears we have sent the idiot to hell yeah there we go boys. If we remain true and wholehearted Victory will be ours. All right, boys. Charge forth. Send them to hell. God is with us. I don't know which god, but there's definitely a god with us today. Ah, the Pornario here. Man. Yeah, you try to go up against my calf, mate. Good luck with that. And I got my general involved, so yeah, easy win. They're broken. But we need to run them down though, there's a lot of guys still running away. 66. That is Satan's number, we shall not stand for it. There you go, all prisoners. I do hope there's not going to be rebellions all the time, because that's such an annoying feature if it is. If you hold lands and you've held them forever and your public order is just good, there shouldn't be these random riots. Even if it's historically accurate, it's just frustrating and annoying. 
Especially once your realm grows to a certain size. No, pretty good. The Vardariotes got 149. I think that's my... Javelin throwers, I think? Or is it my archers? One of the two. One of my mounted units at the very least. Okay, there we go. Alright. No more rebels. Did you get no traits? You're pretty good, actually. You're very loyal, so that's good. You actually are... I mean, you're not really that good, but hey. You are a family member, but you're not in the line of succession. The Vardariotas are the archers, I see. I'm going to put you in the Triadi key. Uh, okay, Lithuania and Novgorod. Those are Russians. Aragon and the Moors have declared a truce. So there's a lot of Spanish civil war going on, and at least the Moors aren't really abusing it. So there's that. Troops and discipline. Andronikos and Mirios. Those are the only units you have, mate. Keep them in line or I'll do it for you. Alright, you better not try anything, mate, or I will take your lands and... That will be the end of that. Okay, press the end turn. I want to take Sinope. I want to expand my realm. Do I have military rights with Serbia? I would hope so, otherwise they are actually invading me. I'd have to check that. But yeah, I want to rule the Mediterranean at one point, but I think I need some practice with the Black Sea. So let's just start with that and then we'll see how far we'll get. In a way, the Black Sea might be nicer to hold, I don't know. Can't say I've been there yet. I'd love to go there, but alas. I think the furthest I've been away from home was when I went to the Canary Islands, Fuerteventura, um, which is off the coast of Morocco, roughly. It's part of Spain, but it's... You're not attacking me, right? I Are you... Did you break an alliance? They can do that in this game? Oh, God. That's frustrating, because... Why would you do that? I thought we were safe on this side. That's a good thing I've got armies in reserve, but... Gods. I mean, I'm going to destroy Serbia. But I don't want to destroy Serbia. I'm not interested in your land. I'm not sure why you're interested in my land. I mean... This is your capital. How many settlements have you got, Serbia? Um, let's see... B -b -b Serbia, Serbia, where are you? It's you've got a purple banner. Oh, it's yellow here. If I take a look at your territory, yeah, you've got one, maybe two settlement. I think that might be two. So if you take a look at their overall ranking. You're not doing all that well, so I'm not sure what you're thinking. But hey, it will be an honor to and you're sending forth for. the Grand Prince plus two family members. Oh God. Let him attack me. I'm going to grab the army from Thessaloniki and just go straight to Ras. In a moment, though. First, I'm going to take Sinope. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Battle. That's a power is in the middle. Oh, that army isn't that bad. Here's what I'll do. Your win. Actually, I wanted to pick up some mercenaries, but these are all cavalry, so that doesn't really do much for me. I mean, it's only three turns. Yes, my lord. Have they got calf? The They've got no calf, so if I force them to see Sally out, I will have calf advantage, and then that will be a lot easier. Okay, I'll wait a little bit. I don't want to, but... Oh, at the very least, I can turn towards Serbia now. Let us grab an army from Thessaloniki. I'll take some Balkan archers. Yes! Of course, my lord. And we're going to move towards Ras. Yes. I'm going to park myself on the bridge in case these guys get any ideas. If they want to attack me, well, go ahead. Can you pick up any mercenaries? Orders. Oh, you can. Ooh, mercenary crossbows. I like the sound of that. Bulgarian mercenaries, they also look quite cool. Slavic Chow. I want those crossbows, man. Yes? Can I get these troops, yes, yes I can, towards Anastasios? Yes. So these guys will move to Ras in the next turn and they will have the moving range for it, good. Um, what other land do they hold? Perhaps I need to befriend Hungary then. If Serbia betrays me then I'm just gonna have to go for Hungary. So they hold Bosnia and Raskia, okay. 
And that will put me closer to Venice, I suppose. But that will also put me closer to the Holy Roman Empire, which... Everyone hates me, I don't know why. I must be doing something wrong. And France and England are at war. Well, I mean, that's just a constant. <laughs> uh, I need you guys to grow up. Perhaps I shouldn't solve everything with war, but... I mean, so far it has treated me rather well. Get some extra lads, because I'm going to need an army. I mean, to be fair, I need a priest. Uh, at least these guys have buggered off. But now they're besieging Malatya. I hope they fail. If they fail, then I will send over an army to take Malatya. Perhaps I'm expanding too fast. Perhaps that's where the problem lies. I need to take Sinope and Trapezos, though. Because otherwise, you know, succession. I've spent too much money. I'm actually going to cancel a bit of the recruitment here. Just one unit. Uh, and I think that's all. Yeah, I know it's on the siege. I mean, I'm just the best. Besides money, I'm the best, so... They're just jealous, that's why they're attacking me. If they want to try and attack Nessals, I think I can butcher them. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna ally with the Crusader States, because I'll just get dragged into wars that I'm not interested in fighting, so... Perhaps everyone were was just friends with the Seljuks all along, and they don't take kindly to me evicting them, but perhaps I, uh, <laughs> I'm looking too far into it. I don't know. Okay, Hungary. Just kind of waiting. What are you up to? A ceasefire? <sighs> In a way, I should accept it, but the thing is, we went from an alliance to war and if I take a ceasefire it will be neutral which puts me in a worse position because they're going to be even more likely to attack me again so I think this just ends with you being destroyed Serbia I'm sorry but you broke my it trust I don't understand what the AI was thinking the army pulled out not that that matters I'm telling you man sometimes the AI it just hates you as a player and it will do everything it can to screw you over even if it makes no sense Okay, they failed at Malatya, which is great. There was no reason... Diplomats... Yeah. There's no reason for Serbia to attack me. Uh, the numbers of diplomats you can have has increased with every city hall, university... Yeah, we know that we need to capture capitals. Where to recruit diplomats? They usually have better traits if recruited far away from your capital. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, and with religiously diverse population. Oh, so you just need to get him in like shitty settlements that you just took. Okay. Uh, okay, proposal for the prince's hand. Lord Yanis Kanta Kuzinos has been beguiled by the lovely princess Maria Komnenos. He is willing to pay a handsome dowry for her hand in marriage. The council recommends you arrange this marriage as soon as possible. Talk to Yanis Kanta Kuzinos. Wait, what? This guy? How do I get him to marry her? I, yes. I don't know. I, I was planning on marrying her off to Hungary. On my way. I, yeah. stop here for the night. I don't know where that Serbian army went and I don't care. I uh, can't reach Ras, but yes. we'll just take the long way. Um, if they still want ceasefire, then I'll take it after I took Ras. I'm going to take every chance I can to expand my realm. Okay, they failed at taking Malatya. I think I need to move out with an army from Kaisaria. Doesn't even need to be a big army. Um, how is the public order? 55%, that's not too shabby. I'm gonna pick up some Kurdish footmen. Probably was a garrison. 60%. I'm going to leave these guys behind because they're a garrison unit. 65. How about these Cox Hillman? 65. Boom. 65 still? <laughs> oh my god. I know there's a small units. They really have to send in another full. Alright, what about an extra Turkopol Archer? Still 65. Mate. 
Is it improving? It's not really improving. And I can't change my tax rate. Um. Alright, what if I just send in a Scudetto to unit? 70. Gods, that will have to suffice. Malatia. They have a general in there. Yes. But I can assassinate him and then call it a day. Of course, my lord. Yes. And I can of also course, get these guys. My lord. Your order, number one. Yeah. That will yes. suffice. Of course, my lord. You assassinate him. Twelve percent. Okay, maybe not. Ooh, let's see. Is this the the big nuke? I don't know, it feels different. Is this the failed big nuke? Sorry. Okay, maybe I won't watch all of these videos, but the nuke, I always have to watch the nuke just because it's so excessive. <laughs> oh man, it's just the cart. What the hell's in that cart? Look at this, it's just running away, and then the biggest explosion you've ever seen. Like, oh, it's like actually sending stone buildings flying across the city. I hope you got a little bit better. Are you still poopy? You're still poopy. Like God himself has struck it down. <laughs> Enthusiastic. Alright, you can murder him next turn. Can you get rid of this guy, please? You failed! 70% and you failed! You're the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople and you're this shitty? Gods. Alright, so this army will take Malatya. And then Trapezos will be taken care of afterwards. It's just they've softened up the garrison so much so that I need to make use of it. Kaisaria, if I can retrain them. Uh, I need to save my money a little bit so I'm not going to go on a mad spending spree. This war here, I don't really I like it. Highness. Damn Serbs. Uh, well, at least those guys seem rather passive so I think I can end it here. Orders. Over you to Nikaya. Move on. Yes, my uh, this guy is having a good time in Chersonas so far. Uh, he's quite happy with it. Strategos of Chersonas, so he's picked up the title. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, Lefkosia got a mustering hall. Good, I can get a contest high there. Peasant militia, wonderful. Let's maybe upgrade that straight away. Or let's get the... Uh, no, I'm going to save my money. And then Arta got the grain exchange, good. Boom. I'm probably not doing enough in terms of diplomacy, but ah, it's fine. I've always been more war-minded anyway. Okay, but yes, we'll take Sipkone. I'm probably saying their name wrong. I will take Malatia. We'll take Serbia. That's the thing, though. I don't want to expand mindlessly, but if Serbia attacks me, then I'm just like... I had a taste of blood and it uh, tastes good. I want more of it. Hungary is now like, oh, these guys mean business. I do want to be friends with you, but just don't betray me. I mean, look at what's going to happen to Serbia. That's all I'm asking. Don't betray me. Don't think I'm asking for much, but... I just don't want to fight like the Holy Roman Empire. Like, oh, King of Jerusalem is dead. I think that faction is almost gone. We know how priests work. We've been using them. Quite a lot. Fewer priests. Okay. Fine. No more martial law in Kaisaria. Ah, good. That, I think, will improve public order as well. Absolutely not. It even made it worse. What? How is public order worse? Alright, well, let's get some... Uh, type local. Typically low discipline, less morale. But good for a garrison, I think. The you assassinate him. 35%. Am I taking down a person? I'll take a risk. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this one. Ah, it failed, damn it. It's a different video. Uh, Mr. Assassin. Heir to the throne. Uh -huh. Well, I'll go kill him then. 38, nah, 38's too low. 46, I'll take that. Have we seen this one? Is this the next stab? Oh no, this is a different one. Oh, oh, he's throwing a knife? Odd. For a moment I thought it was going to miss and hit the woman. There we go. Yeah, man. You mess with Byzantium, you get the Assassin's Guild sent after you. 
king of Jerusalem, and he's currently chilling in Sis. It's quite sad that he's the king of Jerusalem, yet they're nowhere close to holding Jerusalem. It's a bit peculiar, but... Uh, no, actually, I want to build siege towers. Because they're quite a bit better in this mod. Yeah. Try again. There we go. Get rid of you. Blasphemer. One more turn. Good. And we shall march into Ras. Frankish knights. Uh -huh. Oh my god, they're expensive. Jesus. I mean, they're very, very good, of course. But who is in the Ras? Woodsman. That's really just the shittiest army you've ever seen. Okay. There might be room for a treaty at some point. Where is that? Is that a Serbian army that I just spotted there? Oh no, it's a Sicilian army. They're quite lost. Where is... Aha. Uh -huh. Bobovac. There's barely anyone in here. And that's their two Solomons, I think. I don't think they hold anything else. Yes. Hello, Hungary. A a I could marry you, but I'm There's more inclined to marry someone that's actually part of the family tree. You want to trade? I do not think okay. Else you'd like to suggest? Let's let's try that again. I'm going to give you some money. You're going to be I like, you wait, you don't want gifts? Why do you hate me so much, Hungary? Something You're never going to agree to an alliance then, you. even if it's balanced. Okay, well, whatever, we'll try again next time. I don't know what Hungary says. I don't know what everyone's pro Everyone hates me. And I, I, I just want to be popular, man. Okay, Ioannis Komnenos. I think you are my fa faction air air, right? No, wait. Roman, he's my air, but then who's this guy? He's got a crown as well. He's dead. Oh, he used to be my heir. I see. Right? No? I don't understand. I thought the silver crown was the heir, so that's this guy. And then I would assume it's this guy. But then this guy also has a crown. I can't click on him. Oh, oh I see. No, no, no. He's the guy from Venice um, that my princess married to. I see, I see. So is he the faction out of his faction then? Oh yeah, he is. So if I get rid of everyone else in Venice and he becomes heir, does that mean Venice just becomes part of my realm? I don't know actually. Um, but yeah, if I take a look back at my family tree. This is my heir, this is the heir heir. That's Johannes Komnenos. So, I think it's good if he picks up some military experience. I'm going to send a 20 year old in charge of a rather large army. And I think that is a very good idea. He's got a lot of troops, but most of them are... Well, all of them are infantry, actually. I have no archers and no cavs, so we're going to have to pick some of those up along the way. We'll have Sinope, and then we just need trapezos, and we're looking good. Okay. Sorry, I seem a bit stressy, because I am, but... Ioannis the Unorthodox. Oh, different guy. Everyone just the same names, man. Okay. Almurabitun. Who the hell is Almurabitun? I have no idea. Are they these guys? The green guys? No. Oh god, is it these guys? No. These guys? No, that's Georgia. Let's leave each other be, yeah? Yeah, I agree. And I don't know who that faction is that's number one. Let's just hope that far, far away. Oh, Kaisari is in a revolt. Oh, damn it. These guys, they're always so annoying. Alright, I'll have to send over some troops then. Though I was training some extra troops, but I guess that didn't suffice, unfortunately. Everyone's just always so angry. Everyone in this world is angry issues except me. That's just the cold, hard truth. Ah, well. Ah, sorry, I'm just stretching here. I... Oh god, where did you come from? Serbia probably picked up a lot of mercenaries. Uh, oh god, that's a lot of troops, but I think they're all very bad, yeah. Terrible, terrible units. I mean, not that my army is proper elite. The thing is, they do have three generals, so that is scary. Uh, 
the Grand Prince. That could be trouble. But the rest of his armies, really quite poor. These guys are good. They're very good. But that's pretty much it. Everyone else is just dreadful. What about reinforcements? Yeah, they are nothing. I don't know. I think I can win this. But I need to be careful. Thing is, I've got a lot of archers, but not a lot of infantry. But if my positioning is good, then could do quite a bit. And we are in mountainous terrain. I could pull back so these guys don't reinforce, but they're not a problem at all. I think we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's do this. We shall claim victory in God's name, man. It is an honor to be thought a well-educated man, for are we not a nation of erudite warriors? But I tell you that in all the books I have ever studied, I have never seen an account of creatures as lowly as our foes. However, my learning leads me to suspect that they may die as easily as other men. This battle means a lot to our enemies. That is why half of all their men stand over there today. So we shall make them rue the day they came to meet honest men in combat. God's wounds. I see that our foes are amply supplied with heavily armored troops. Would that we had some men with firelocks. We may feel their lack. Let's to the fires, men. And if... Once the enemy are broken, you should come across some nubile nymph or toxi who takes your fancy. Keep your hands off her. Rank has privileges. I get first pick. What the hell kind of speech was that? That's gotta be one of the worst speeches I've ever heard. Okay, uh, we shouldn't let that guy talk ever again. See, if I was on the opposite side, I know exactly which hill I'd pick. But our side offers some perspective as well. Let's traverse here. Yeah, there's nothing too interesting with this here. This immediately piqued my interest. They're going to have to go through the woods, which nerfs their calf quite a bit. Their reinforcements might come from that way as well, but that's fine because I can kill them rather quickly. So I think, yeah, I think it seems quite clear that we're going to take this hill here. So I'm going to put all my troops here. Uh, I will move them around a little bit once the battle starts because this is not ideal positioning for them. Uh, okay, start. The enemy have yeah. brought up I paused men. right away because I assumed they would come from here. What they lack in so I'll send my infantry like that. Uh, archers. Let's see, I want to get a double layer, I think. I'm just looking here. So you guys like that. Then you guys over here behind them. Definitely want my crossbows in front. The crossbows are going to be very important to take down the enemy calf, the enemy generals. I don't know, I would like to kill these guys rather quickly before the battle properly starts. Oh, they got Slavic javelin, and I don't want them to throw their javelins. I'm gonna have to ask her to stop fighting now. Are they running? They are running. Okay, so they should be quite tired when they reach my lines. I will have a pretty good height advantage. That should also help my archers avoid friendly fire and just be more accurate. Alright, charge the javelin men so they don't get to throw any javelins. Good. They're trying to run back. Well, that works. Screw you. Oh, they whiffed the charge terribly. Really awful charge. Okay, they're really running in crazy fast. Sorry about that. Let's jump back in. Okay. I hope I remember to edit out that little disruption. Knowing me, I probably won't. These guys are really annoying, like, I've noticed that before in this mod, where I charge a unit and they just immediately, like, break off my charge, they just ignore it. Are they rushing in the generals? They're rushing in all their generals' bodyguards. Okay, uh, I need to send over my, my infantry then. 
I had those guys in reserve because I didn't expect them to be here that quickly. Alright, everyone, fire at will now. Only half the enemy force remains. This is really I'm honestly baffled by how fast the enemy is. I always feel so sluggish and so slow, but they don't seem to get slowed down all that much. That's the the general, the prince. So I especially want the crossbows to fire on the prince. My huskars are also armor piercing, mind you. If we can kill the prince early on, that's going to solve all my problems. But I need to get my general out of there because he's in trouble. He's already breaking off. My general better not be in trouble! It's the one with the plume on it, that's the guy. Oh no. Yeah, my lack of infantry is going to cost me it. I'm surprised none of their generals died so far, but... They're coming back in for another go. Yeah, they will just run through my lines, no surprise there. Okay, you guys. Counting on you here. Infantry! How are none of their generals dead yet? I mean, they are tanky boys. Makes sense, but... Where is that good unit? Like, one really good unit. The Vlastala, those guys. I want the crossbows to go after him. Fire it away. Oh, my unit's broke. My house scars. That's bad news. Yeah, the general is just tanky beyond words. And he's backing off again. Damn it. How are these woodsmen not broken? Your general's gone. Yeah, that's just this guy. Don't get too excited. Now we're looking 60 minutes for 21%. That's good, but not good enough. But a route is possible if we can kill their general. Their prince, to be precise. Where is their prince? I don't think that's this guy. But I might stand corrected. Oh, I wish you guys would come back, Huskars. I need you, boys. Come on, Contaratoy up against General's bodyguard. You guys are skilled against mounts, are you not? Show me your worth. Damn it. They're all so low. Not low enough. Now another route. Damn it, my morale is significantly worse than theirs. Makes sense, because they are being led by their faction leader, of course. But still... I am miffed now that infantry has reached my lines and my infantry is just running off. Oh, I expected much more of them. Oh, they keep running off. Yeah, they're just making a mockery of me. Oh, catch them. Catch them. Ah, we got a route here. Okay, okay. We might stand a chance still, but we also got some routes. 25 for 47. Oh, it's looking significantly better now. And their general's bodyguard is, you know, going down slowly but surely. We might stand a chance still. Keep fighting, keep fighting. You're out of ammo, that's okay, then you can go in and charge. I'm risking my general's life a little bit, but I feel like it's necessary. Scooter Toy are doing quite well. And to four. Come on, please die. <laughs> oh, they be tanky. They do be tanky beyond words. And I'm running out of ammo. Where did my calf go? Assist your general. My general the enemy are badly seems bloody. to be in trouble. I thought that was they the message that he died. He got out, he got out. 
Scooter toy, please. Down to four, down to four. They're all down to nothing. He's down to two. He's down to four. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm down to two of my guys still alive. Damn, yeah, these guys were tanks. Puffies, I guess. And to wait. But that stats are impressive. 24 defense, yeah. And my scooter toy broke. Are you kidding me? How did my scooter toy break? Damn it. That is actually really bad news. My crossbows are getting hammered, but the axe militia broke, so that's good. Fire on that big blob and then fire on the flaster. The I don't know, man. The odds aren't really moving in my favor because the bloody general just doesn't die. None of them are dying. I'd feel a lot happier if we killed at least one. Oh, my scooter toy came back. God bless. Come on, boys. He's down to one? Kill that man. I'm gonna send you in just to assist. Gods. These guys. Could you die, please? Such a close fight. I'm literally biting my lip here. It hurts. He's down to seven. Oh, we're none of them dead yet. Come on, hurry, run! You're so slow. These guys have also broken a couple times, and they came back, and they just keep running off. And ah, oh. catch them! Catch them! Catch them! I need to get something here. Okay, we're charging him. Surely that guy's screwed now. Up against Scooter Toy. These guys are anti-cav. Yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this guy's also hit. He turns into a ghost if I zoom out far enough. Look! There's a ghost running on a horse. What the hell? That's proper scary. Oh my god, is this guy also still alive? And these guys are back. Oh my god, he ran off again. These. He must have a million hit points. There's no other way. There he is. Get that guy. Just get someone. Ah, oh, he died. We killed our first general. Is that the main general though? No. It isn't. Because he had a different name. But it's it's a start. And I think it will impact their morale. Kill the next one. Mercenary crossbows broke. I mean, this fight is going to end with pretty much everyone being dead, but... I will take it if that means a win. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Please. He's down to four. Scooter toy again. On the chase. Don't tell me he's gonna run off. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. I swear to God. I think that might be the faction leader. No. No, he's not. Where is he? He's not part of that stack, because there's three of them and I only see two. Yeah, we need better anti-cav units. Like, their cavalry, especially the generals, are always just, like, too painful to kill. Just never die. I mean, my general was doing the same my thing here, but... The tide of battle seems to have what are you talking about? Us. We must act and halt this turn of events. What are you talking about? They're all routing. I'm just feeling to kill that general, is annoyingly enough. Give him a volley. It seems archers are the best bet to killing them at this point. Just a concentrated volley, please. Oh my lord, that guy! Yes! 
I think that's the faction there. Uh, sorry, faction leader. Because we got the voice announcement. That's Alvaraska, I think that's him. So surely that will lead to a mass rout. Even the general is rising. But I don't think we can catch him, I think he's too fast. No, we need to get the foot flaster to break. But those guys are going to be tough. Come on, come on, he's getting stuck on trees. Alright. That Mirage should be screwed now. These guys are impressive though, I must admit. Very powerful unit. I don't think my Balkan hatches will be able to route them. Where am I screwed at all, mate? Let's see. Is that choice? Yeah, this guy's faster than us, unfortunately. They're all routing. The amount of power is still like, eh. by the Almighty Lord. And it's all because of those Vlastella. So I hope I can route them. See, sending in my general is a bit risky, but might be enough to send them over the edge. No? Then I'm gonna have to charge them with all my might at once, otherwise they won't break. I need to send in overwhelming numbers. Oh, those guys came back. Dude, I killed your king. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I mean, this guy should pick up some good traits. Get out of there, though. Risky. But we should have the overwhelming numbers in our advantage now, and that should lead to them routing, even if the Bowser Power is like, uh, Bowser Power can suck a big one. Yeah, this army here uh, desperately needed more infantry, I think that's the main takeaway here. Especially anti cav units. I need to get my hands on more anti cav. We need to bring back the phalanx, you know, it worked so well for us in the past. I don't get in too deep, my man. If you die, it's over. How are these guys steady? Are oh, they shaken now? I'm really gonna need more than that, though. Cause they're always so eager. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Is it over? Such no. does victory emerge. Thirty, twenty-six. Stop firing, by the way. You're probably causing a lot of friendly fire. Oh, we won. Hard Run fight, though. But we came out on top. Whew, I have no idea where that army came from, but it doesn't matter. There you go. Uh, we killed enough, right? Yeah, we killed... Only one general got away, which is unfortunate. So I'm not sure if we get Ras for free. But we healed a lot as well, so... My army will be bigger either way. Alright. I'm gonna execute them, because... I don't want to deal with you. And I get the settlement. Nice. I'm going to occupy it, I think. There's a lot of money here. Oh, there's more troops. It is a castle, though, so if they try to retake it, we should have a good defense. And then again, public order might be a problem. However, I do see myself chilling here for a little while, and I do want to try and get peace now. I'm fine with taking one settlement, and a very wealthy one at that, so... Ah! That's sallying out. Okay, I'm actually going to make a, a save here. And then I'm going to take a short recording break because i got some matters to attend to. Um, but I will record a little bit more when I'm back because otherwise this video will not be the length it deserves to be. Um, so yeah, you probably won't notice a thing. I'll just make a quick jump cut and we'll be in the fight. So see you in a moment. Alright, oh, sorry about that. I had to do some rather unexpected babysitting on my nephew. Um, but... Yeah, a little kid staying over, but he fell asleep, so <laughs> I got some time to continue my recording. I guess it's a bit of a prelude to uh, if and when I ever become a father, and if I'm when I'm still doing YouTube videos, then I guess that's how I'll have to manage that. <laughs> Just uh, pausing and recording, which I ideally don't like to do. I, I much prefer to record my videos in one go, but uh, you know. I gotta work with what I've got. Alright, they're sallying out. I should have a pretty good shot at this. I have cavalry, they do not. I don't have a lot of cavalry, but... 
Well, I've said it many times, in Medieval 2, Cav is king. So even if you only have one Cav unit, that already makes a big difference. So I'm quite happy I assassinated that guy, the general, because I'm pretty sure his bodyguard would have been archer, uh, no, just cavalry as well. It is quite late in the day, uh, quite a bit later than when I finished off my initial set of recording. I mean, you won't notice a thing, but you might notice in my voice or just my... Uh, commentary in terms of how weak I am. Alright, my archers are firing. Perfect. Uh, let's make sure you're all on guard mode and not on skirmish mode. I do quite like the look of the Azat archers. They're quite cool. All the units are quite cool, but it's hard. In in Third Age and even in Medieval 2 vanilla, I'm so used to knowing just at a glance which units are fantastic and which units are kind of meh. But the Azat, for example, they look like mediocre, but let's see. 349 compared to 324. They're actually quite good. But then these Turk Polarchs, they got 6 missile attack, which is significantly more, but they don't exactly look more elite. I mean, they look like they know what they're doing, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to, to get all that at just a glance. Alright, I also need to make sure that my faction heir gets his sword wet. For the traits. Okay, Aldari horse archers, you're doing quite well. Let's move forth the infantry so they don't engage my archers. Let's run, actually. It always feels like the enemy is faster than I am, and I know that's probably not the case. But it feels like my troops are so sluggish and their troops are so fast. Or perhaps that's just a bigger difference between unit types and speed. That might be true. You can fight on the scooter toy in the back, that would be quite nice, and those Azan arches. Okay. Intercept them. Okay, yeah, we're crushing. Oh, the morale is terrible. Not wholly unexpected, I guess, but... That is quite good for us. Charge the Contara toy. Oh, that morale is Head up! Come on, boys. Azad infantry, I like you guys. You're quite good. Are these guys Christian? I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm just happy they're on my side. Scooter toy, I can't just beat like that, unfortunately. Those are quite good. Yeah, I mean, based on performance in the past, I think Scooter Toy are just like my main bread and butter. I think I'm going to rely on them for a lot of battles. They're just good. They don't die nearly as fast as some of the others. Their morale is quite good. They blessed. look quite cool. The enemy general is oh, dead. he's already dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. <laughs> sent the idiot to hell. They're not making any nice words about it. They just called him an idiot straight up. Okay, that broke that. The Aldari Lancers, I like them a lot. 8% for 49, this is good, this is good. I'm going to have more than enough men left to Only go for Trapezos. Okay. Get those Scooter Toy. They broke as well. Is that everyone broken? Are some of the troops already retreating back? No? I'll get rid of these pricks then, eh? Don't waste any time. Don't let them go back to the town square and get their morale back. We don't want that. Alright, take them prisoner if you can. Take them all prisoner. I just need to route them and then it's over. Okay, well. Hmm. I think... We need to route them before they reach the town square. Come on. They broke, so who's still standing the then? Ah, no one. <laughs> That's that. That's a very good win. A clear win. Now Sinope is mine. I will need to leave some troops behind, of course, to keep the, the peace, but we'll see how we deal with that. Alright. Part of me wants to just exterminate the populace, but I'm not going to exterminate the populace of lands that rightfully belong to me. The Abbasid Caliph is dead. 
Merchants, I don't really care. I know how merchants work. No more martial law in Sebus. I have no idea where. Oh, is that Sis? Because that was never really mine. Or is that Sebastia? No idea. Missing funds. Rioting in Kaisari. Yeah, I know that. Despite everything. The public order is actually getting worse. I don't quite understand. Um. I mean, I have troops coming over, but it's not going to be enough. Could send some Skudatoi over. Still 60%. Sometimes they just don't want to be happy, I feel like. Uh, how about some Kontaratoi to keep the peace? 65, can I get any more? Kontaratoi seem quite good at keeping these. Now Ankara is getting unhappy, but if I can get just 5 more percent over. You're at 70. Please tell me you're at 70. You're at 70. Okay, good. Alright, Jonas, you're gonna go for Trapezos because these guys keep trying. <laughs> Poor Georgians. Alright, so I really do think if I take a look at the map here. Uh, yeah, if I just take Trapezos. I don't need Sis. I don't even need these lands in the center, but I'm gonna take them anyway. Malatia, I will just starve them out if I must, no problemo. Mr. Assassin. I'm gonna send you over here. Oh wait, you're stuck on Trapezos? Ah. Oh. That makes Trapezos quite an important settlement because you can't move past it. I wanted to assassinate that Georgian guy, but yeah, you're not gonna succeed with that, mate. Uh, let's see, Kaisaria, I need you guys to be happier, man. What's the problem? Religious unrest? Squalor? Quite a bit squalor. How do I get rid of squalor? Is that law bonus? I think I need a law bonus for that. Well, the gallows could help. That could definitely help. But uh, that seems a bit excessive. Wind and water mills? I think I'll just get an orthodox chapel. Seems like a good way to spend that cash. Uh, okay, Mr. Assassin. Wait, did I need to assassinate someone? Yeah, I need to do a marriage, but I don't want to do that. I could murder my way through the Crusader stage, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to wake him too weak. I could kill this guy. He's heir to the Emirate. <laughs> I'm making so many enemies. Okay, we didn't. We missed. But he's gotten even better. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I love that. I still got my boat here. You yes, can sail back. Uh, right, then I think... Let's move you over. Oh, hello. Die. This is a new video. I think it also uses a different video because they're Muslim. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so damn effective. No one ever expects the battle to attack. Boom, and they replace him right away. Do they actually lose one guy? I don't know. I would assume they do, but... So then we'd border these guys. Not sure how I feel about that, but... I guess I should try to befriend them. After I just <laughs> murdered the captain. Hello. Are we already trading? Oh, I think we're already trading. How about some map information? The answer, no. I'm I just want to get some diplomacy going with those boys, but alas. Alright, Mr. Mrs. Well. Excuse me, Princess, can you way. move there? We have taken the Ras. Let's retrain what we can. Vlak Arches. I mean, they're okay, but I don't need Arches. So I might go for the Garrison Quarters. Just so I can train some regular infantry. I do want to take Bobovac as well. I'm not sure if I'll succeed. If they're interested in a ceasefire now, I might just do it. Okay, there we go. But I don't trust them for anything. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay you that money, mate. So I will keep a healthy garrison here. But hey, we gained some extra land and it's quite bountiful land, so I'll take it. Ceasefire. I'm sure the Pope will be pleased by that. Not that I care about the Pope. Okay, I could have spent some more money, but this doesn't hurt to save up a little bit. Okay, things are looking good. And I think we might be able to crown our faction leader before he dies. I'm not sure how bad it would be if he would die right now and I then achieve the crown conditions. Like if my faction... 
Well, actually, I don't meet the crown condition because I think he also needs like a certain amount of piety, etc. And I don't know how I can boost his piety because he's literally in the most pious settlement I control. And, you know, we got Haga Sophia and p priests and good enough religion and all that. So I don't know how to deal with that, which is unfortunate. I might just force the crown on his head. Just ram it in there. I don't know. It's a tough situation. But we'll come out on top, as always. Uh, is that the guy I need to marry you? Stavrakio Spartnos? No, wrong guy. F off, mate. Hints on the use of agents. Uh, okay, Inquisitors may be tamed a bit if you put a pious priest near them. I'm not gonna get Inquisition, right? I'm of different religion and all that. The problem. What is the name? I could assassinate I this guy. You, so the Crusader states can't make any new friends. Ah, guys, Sadia, please stay happy for once in your life. I put such Let a big garrison my there. My lord. Yes. Pretty powerful army, but no calf. Then again, if I take trapezos, I don't really need calf. Is that garrison Stop getting bigger again? Time. I don't know. Who has this place the All right, let's see if we find what anyone over here. Name? To assassinate. But of course. I mean, part of me wants to assassinate the Georgians. I don't trust them. But of course. <laughs> like this yes. guy here. We do not count you as but I count you as an enemy. We've seen this. Ah, oh, but it this failed. Ah, I, I could have watched the fail mission. At least he's getting better. Yes, the problem. What is the name? Let's try to assassinate him again. Nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if I just get all my assassins, like, leveled up really high, I could just murder my way to victory. Where's my other spy? Assassin? Okay, he's over there. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you I could get us in quarters. That's quite nice. Um, might go for the... Nah. I need to make sure that my faction er sorry, my faction leader is ready to get crowned. But his piety is really bad and I don't understand why. Alright, where does it say about the crown? Uncrowned. The man's rule is far from a sure thing. To become the true king he must get crowned. To achieve it. He needs to conquer all the lands his ancestors claim to rule over. See the map. We'll have that soon. He should have authority and piety of six or more. Hmm. See, that's the problem. His authority is very high. But my piety is just awful. And I don't know. Maybe if I get a priest in the settlement, I could go for the huge orthodox cathedral, but I'm not sure if he'll live to see it get finished. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how to improve my... My religion is good, right? Yeah, orthodox is 90%. Provincial aristocracy. Let's see, I'm not sure. Oh, the alchemist lab. That's what people have been clamoring me to get to go. Yeah, capable of upgrading firearms. Let's get that. If I can't be pious, then I will be fireish. That doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. Right. Uh, build roads. I need roads in all my. Major settlements. Ah, oh, there's more rebels. There's rebels every bloody where. If I'm not building anything and I can build roads or farms, then I will get that. Might as well, because then those settlements leave me alone for 20 turns, which is a nice little extra. Like, these farms are almost finished. I started them at the beginning of this campaign two episodes ago. <laughs> Alright. I don't trust Hungary, but Hello, I don't have much of a choice. And I think I might just try and move you all the way... Happily, my lord. To the Germans. Alright, let's press the end turn. I think, am I number one still? No. Al Murabitun. No idea who that is. Production wise, I'm rank 90. I think that's an error. There's no way I'm that far behind. Then again, I still don't know what production really means. Alright. By all means, things are looking decent, but. I don't know, the crown just has me worried, and the succession also has me worried, because my faction ad is awful, but... 
I got high hopes for his faction there, so you know, maybe I should get my new faction leader killed off sooner rather than later. I don't know, maybe I should not have those thoughts out loud, I don't know. Don't know, don't know, we'll find out. But if I have firearms, then well, that changes things massively. Hello, I have no idea who you are. I should have just played Norway, things would have been much easier. Raid, pillage, have a good time with all that. Another caliph is dead, I hardly knew ye, but my regards to your wife. Okay, 70%, 75% being pacified, I still don't understand why you're so angry. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pick up some cav. Aldari lancers have served me quite well in the past, so I'll get two of them. And we're going to get rid of those rebels, Captain Ennis, or Enus, which rhymes with penis. Get rid of him real quick. Yeah, that's not going to be too hard. And then, you know, because they're on the way, take trapezos. Okay. Save and jump in to get you some experience. Your first fight, Johannes. Right, this terrain and weather sucks, but... Oh, you've got no archers either. You've got a shit ton of scooter toy. Which is, I mean, frankly, it is a nice army. It's one of the nicest armies I've had so far. Plus the Vestiaritai. And the Huskars. So I'm just going to move them in a straight line, pretty much, towards the enemy. Just encounter them, kill them. There's no real need to do anything fancy. Yeah, they're going to chuck javelins, they're going to shoot me. I hope I can trample them down with my calf before that happens. But even if it doesn't... Look! The glory of Byzantium. We've got all these nice banners. This is actually a really nice army. It's not going to give me great traits because I'm crushing such a small army with my troops. I might just send in the Aldari Lancers to go ahead. Possibly die, but, you know... Mostly used for this fight. I don't really need him in the next fight. So I'm just going to send them ahead. They cost me money anyway. Might as well. Send them in first. Charge, my boys. Charge. Careful for their javelins. Oh, sorry. They're archers. I thought they were javelins. That makes this easier, actually. These guys don't stand a chance. More Turkish archers. Those are the javelins. Right. I knew he had javelins. Okay. Where's the other calf? I sent in my other unit as well. Oh, they're quite a bit slower. Alright, Johannes, you need to get in there. That's the technical term for it. Okay, we're slaughtering those brigands. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. Then don't! Our men are winning the battle. Wait till sunset! A worthy victory. They're shooting my huskars, those pricks. Try to catch them. I think we... Yep, yeah, we caught them. Damn, these Aldari Lancers are really good. I am very happy with them. One of the best mercenary picks. They just absolutely slaughtered everyone, really. Alright, and my general in there, Ioannis. Absolutely destroying those August Horse Archers. Really quite pleasant to see. Okay, Ioana's getting some kills. That's how we like to see it. it is unwise to no, 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 I didn't mean to pull you back. Our men are winning the My troops are very tired. The terrain absolutely sucks victory. here. It's okay. I'm only losing some of my Aldari and they can be replaced very the easily. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Yeah, it's over. The enemy general Johannes fought well. We got some experience. Ideal. Uh, it's over. Oh no, those guys came back. Run them down. Praise the Almighty. No. Okay. Ah, that's decent. Victory. It's a clear win, so I'm sure that'll boost his morale and his efficiency. Oh, right. That's what you get for blocking my path and being an annoying rebel army. We'll keep those Heldari Lancers, and then Trapezos is just one turn of movement away. Alright, Alexios, you're almost finished. You're all administratively minded. How do I get you to become... Well... Military minded. 
I got an extra merchant and an extra assassin and an extra spy. Why not? He's military minded. Uh, all right. So how, why why are you so bad from a piety perspective? Handsome, sense of justice, smart, adulterous. Okay. Wife has converted. Wife is Hungarian. Greedy ruler. And crown. Troops eager to fight. Night fighter. Fit for office. Office monger. Wait, what? How many does he have? Banner. He's just the exarch of Constantine. He's literally the emperor. I'm sure he doesn't need to be an office monger. Ten years. Made a prayer. That's only plus one. Far too lenient. Oh. Do we need to... Improve taxes? No, tax rate is high. I'm not sure why you consider him far too lenient. Pillager, exotic taste, admirer of beauty, open to murder. Eh. <laughs> but that doesn't decrease my piety, so... Nah, I don't really understand the traits, but that... Probably just me. Um. Right, so Ras, we got stuff going on over there. Um, I could use some extra infantry, but alas. I mean, if he wants to attack me, he'll have to get through all my archers, which in the defense works fine. Okay, I think I'm building in most places that I want to build. We'll get some farms here as well. Uh, Sebastia, I definitely need to upgrade this. Get an orthodox church there. Five more turns for Malatia. Who has displaced you? We're just training you. 49. I was about to say you're still young, but you're actually quite old. Ah, this is a new one. Oh no, don't drop the rock, that poor horse. Come on. Oh, I would have liked to see that. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah, he's not getting out of that one. Damn, this guy definitely benches like 300 pounds. Absolutely mad lad. Alright, let's go murder the next captain. No, 32 is too low. 46, 59. Perfect practice. This is the uh, Assassination Guild training grounds. And when you're strong and able, you can go destroy... Uh, let's murder some more people. Let's see. I'm also getting some information on where the settlements are, which is quite important. Follow the route. I'm sure there's another settlement here. Ah, there we go. Arraka. Who's in there? No one. Let me go north. I don't think the Selchuks will be the last faction that I get rid of through sheer assassination. <laughs> I'm sorry, I enjoy it way too much. Sue me. Uh, it's also quite fun because, you know, I play a lot of Divide and Conquer and there's no assassins in there. Thank God, by the way. Alright, I don't trust that guy, so I might have to boost my forces at Chersonos a bit. I'll have to see. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning quite a bit. It's actually quite a lot later. Typically I'm already in bed by now, but I really wanted to get this recording finished. And yeah, like I said, my schedule has been thrown around a little bit, but... I do it all for the YouTube, of course. Army supply cost. I it feels like they keep sending me the same information. I think this mod must have like 200 information screens or something silly like that. And it's fine, I get it, but if you expect me to read all of that, I'm terribly sorry. It's a large town, okay. Oh, do I have to? There we go. I'll always get two rams. You never know what happens to the one. I mean, I could starve them out. I could win a fight. I'm on a little bit of a timer with my faction leader, but... And they've grown even more unhappy again, but I can train some of my own troops. Uh, I could get Scooter Toy. They're expensive. Let's see. Why do I need such a big garrison here? Garrison, I only get 30% garrison bonus. That feels quite low. That feels really low. Hmm. Alright, well, I get some extra troops. Not that that will help too much, but I'll also start spreading the good word. See if that helps. Um. 
Right, just on us, I need some extra troops there because I don't trust those boys. So we'll get some Peltasts and maybe some Contaratoi. And I will upgrade. Hmm, what's the religion? Yeah, I need more religion there. And that goes all my money because I got all of those good toy. Funeral farms in Dirakion. Nice. Is Sicily going to declare war on those boys? No, they're just at war with Venice. I should get some invoice to Italy to know what's going on over there, because I, I think there's some crazy stuff happening there. But Alright, I've got an idea. I'm going to move Andronikos to Caesarea. Bloop. And then move these boys to Sebastia, because I think they're more likely to be happy. Okay, I might be wrong there. Hmm, I might have made a bad call, unless I move all of them, but then I don't want to leave Sis undefended. See, that's at 70% now. I should be able to get some troops from Sinope down. Oh, I got an extra guy here, Enricos. He probably just came of age. And he's Strategos of Sinop. I mean, he is family, and I should probably send him to Constantinople to govern, but... I mean, just doing it is the best practice, so... And that leaves my, my faction here to be back on the field again, course, which pleases me greatly. Yes. Your and then I might be able to plop some yes. troops towards Sebastian. Yes. Or if I keep uh, sieging him out, I can send Your one unit back home to Sebastia. Pacify them. Kaisaria is now happy. Orders, um, I don't think the Crusader States will attack. And if they Your do, orders, they need at least one, one extra turn. So Should that'll be screwed perfect. if they try. Alright. And turn. I might be going through these turns a little bit too quick, but I I feel like I need to achieve a little bit more in this episode before I round it off. Feels like we haven't achieved anything at all, but we have. I know we have, but that's what it feels like. Also, I didn't even realize, but today is actually Thanksgiving. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. That was not entirely unexpected. So, happy Thanksgiving. I want to say... Special thanks to the Mongols, I think, who just decided to invade me, which is <laughs> fantastic news. But hey, I guess I'll turn them into a turkey, spit roast them, see how they like it. Uh, I think Shersonas will be fine. I'm just more worried about the other borders we share with them. The thing is, I don't really want to expand, and I know the game treats me as an expanding, war hungry despot. Oh, God. My Lord, the enemy lays That's actually a bit of a problem. But I always get thrown in these situations. Like, now they're at war, so of course I'm going to attack. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, I want to go to Targoviste. I mean, he's sending in troops as well. Like, it's just a mess. Yes. Onward. Well, let's see. Has anyone here come of age? You. I know you're administratively minded, but... Who do I face? I'm going to need you to lead an army. My economy is... Quite awful at the moment. Your orders, number one. Um, of course, my lord. I'm going to move Your a big hand. chunk of these troops to Caesarea, and I'm going to move one. you towards orders, Sebastia for one. now. Yes. Your orders, number one. Your orders, uh, number you. one. Your orders, number one. Yes. Wait. Orders. How many more troops do I need there? Not yes. that I can get them. I can orders. send the calf here. March. Yes. And then everyone else fits in. No, I'm. I need one guy to go to Kaiser. Plop. All right. Now we have big garrisons everywhere. Monat is about to fall. Trapezos is about to fall. Do I want to wait with Trapezos? I don't know. And I also definitely, definitely, I can't speak. Need to send some assassins back home because there's some stuff happening that I'm not a big fan of. What is the name? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Just getting better and better every turn. Who has this the problem. What is so the this name? is Crusader State territory. Okay, interesting. Who has this the Crusader problem. States have become quite a what shadow of themselves, name? but... Who has this oh, boom. Is this a new one? I think this is a new one. Oh, no. Please run, make it out. Okay, good. 
<laughs> Ario Vindos the killer who actually got outperformed. Trained in the cities of the Middle East. Uh, outperformed by a door, so yeah. When in doubt, if you think you might get assassinated, just make sure you slam all the doors. And that might just save your life. Alright, so we're at war now because these guys betrayed me. I should have seen it coming. I always had a reserve army, but they were sent to Ras. Now I don't have any reserves, really. I got a couple troops here that I can send over, but they're going to take a while to get where they're needed. And I also need to lift the Siege of Thessalonica because oh, these pricks want to have a go. Um, so I have to send the cab over. Let's get rid of them. It's a battle I'm really not in the mood to do. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm going to have to sell you out then. Unless I wait for them to attack me. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that risk. This one, like I should have some mad defenses. Um, yeah, Alexios. I will send you to fight at Tarnovgrad. Take command of the armies if you must. Big army here, but pretty shitty. We have a castle. I think we'll be okay. Now, of course, Trapezos. What do I do with that? I could just take it. I do have significant more. I need some extra... Siege equipment, I think. I know, I know. You want to see more fighting, but I need to take it carefully. But eventually I'll have, like, massive gunpowder and then things will look a lot better. Yeah, okay. Still a hard campaign. Still a hard campaign. I just, I'm just getting attacked from everywhere. But I guess that makes sense, you know. Are they going to cease fire me? Because the enemy loves to do that. Just Oh no, we're going to have a defensive siege battle. Okay. Okay, no, that's cool. I don't think we've had one of those. Bounce of power is significantly my favorite, so I'm not sure what you're smoking. And by all means, I'm not going to expand from Khersonos anytime soon, but... I'll happily take you down, Captain Sundak. Other oh, humans. Oh, okay, that explains it. Is that you just called Chuddy? <laughs> that's the kind of nickname I'd give to a fat Australian person. Hey, here comes Chuddy. Be ready to give all so, Chuddy, I looked it up, is apparently Polish for being skinny? That's new to me, but... It's interesting. <laughs> okay. So, let's see how these skinny bitches, these Chuddies... Are they skinny? Are these the Chuddies? I don't know who the Chuddies are. How they can fare against my walls. I mean, my walls aren't exactly impressive, but... They will get the job done, you know. I'm going to put my archers here, actually, so they can keep fighting like that. Um, I'm going to put my spears down below. And I want to put my Tagmata on the walls. I love the look of this unit. Love those round and oval shields. Uh, we'll put more of my Contaratoi up here. I'm going to maybe move my horse archers out. From the city or from the castle out from there. Okay. Don't skirmish. You can fight on the woodsman, those guys. They are too cool to use shields, etc. They do have those big axes, so they should be a relatively easy target for us. They are the shoody. I guess they do look quite skinny. So these guys are kind of a mix of poles and slavs and Cumans. I mean, we've got to give the Cumans some respect. They're quite good. The enemy have ladders at the walls. You can Repel fire on the Cuman the militia. That would be appreciated. Okay, can you stop firing on my units? Thank you. Saints, save us! The enemy are battering down the gates. Ah, uh, let them try. These woodsmen will probably rout. It is unwise to praise the I mean, they're used to cutting down trees, not cutting down elite Byzantium men, so... Good luck with that, prick. Oh, poor Chuddy. It's funny, because, you know, Chuddy is skinny, but then we'd say chubby to be fat, which is pretty much the same word, almost. Just one letter difference. It certainly has a complete opposite meaning, not just Saints, a different meaning, but just the opposite. The enemy are down the gates. Wait, are the Chuddy... Did they stop? They stopped at 98%, why would you do that? You guys okay? 
You good? Grave I don't know what they're trying to do. Uh, come on, ram it down then. What are you waiting for? Holy mother of God! Holy! I thought it was gonna say holy moly. Yeah, he's got some horse archers of his own, but the moment they charge inside my settlement, battle's over. It is that easy. I'll get my general involved though, because you know God he needs to fight in every battle. Apparently. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all will be lost. Oh no worries. Head up against some spear boys. They send some extra forces on the wall. No problem. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, just don't kill my general. The enemy are badly blooded. I mean, that's the what happens when the Cubans try to take a castle, the right? Enemy general yeah. is dead. Ooh, my we general is also losing a lot of his bodyguard. Pull back. Okay, now he's chasing me. That's not good. Come on, how is he not routing? My general's gonna die. Oh no, pull back. How is he chasing me off like that? Don't really understand. Like, where are my spears? <laughs> pull back. These guys are tough. I'll give them that. These damn humans. Come on, mate. Run to your spears. I don't know why they're not helping me. Okay. The Cuban militia, what are they called? Dismounted Cuban militia, yeah. They're incredibly powerful. They don't seem that good on the, the numbers. Come on, dude. Pull back. It's a miracle you're alive. Don't push it. I guess I just keep overestimating my Contara toy. They're actually really quite awful. I always think they're decent against Calf, but what are their stats? 229, yeah, okay, yeah. I uh, have too high expectations of them. I just see spears and shields, and I just assume, oh, they're gonna absolutely annihilate enemy Calf. And then that doesn't really happen, because <laughs> they're actually awful. Okay, those guys are toast. My general lives, that's the most important part. And Khersonas lives to stand another day. Stands to live another day? Both work. Alright. Oh, actually got a lot closer than I thought in the beginning. But it counts as a heroic win, so that's great for you, honest. I... Don't know why, but hey, I'll take it. Okie do. Yeah, that wasn't uh, totally unexpected, but I think we'll just have a repeat, and I might be able to just take Targoviste if I can fix my economy. That is. This is not good, my lord. The enemy no, it isn't. Upon us. It isn't good. We might get a rebel attack as well, because bloody rebels will just be everywhere. So I just need to make sure that every. Settlement has a garrison, even if it's tiny, even if it's poopy. But right now, too many settlements of mine just have nothing because I keep sending everything to the front because I'm always at war. And no one wants to be my ally, everyone just backstabs me straight away. That's the one thing I dislike about playing on higher difficulties, but the AI is just bloodthirsty. There's no other word for it. Yeah, there we go. I mean, the balance of power is like massively in my favor, so by all means, I probably should auto resolve. Probably gonna get a better result like that. Because they outnumber me by quite a bit, so I don't know why the game. It's probably because of my defenses, so let's go check it out, I guess. Yeah, uh, I might regret not auto resolving, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, this is Izzy from the future. I've done this battle about five times. And every time I was able to kill all the Contarator without losing a single one of my guys. But then I'm just unable to kill their cavalry. Even though it says these guys are skilled against mounts, they just cannot win against these Pronorioi. Even with burning oil and arrow towers. So I just give up. <laughs> I've tried it way too many times. I want to go sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, so I'm just going to auto-resolve it. I've tried auto-resolving before and it made me lose. Yeah, clear defeat. I 
don't really understand why, because the balance of power says it's significantly my advantage. Um, honestly, I'm really annoyed by it, because I can't check right now, but Thessaloniki is super happy, there's no culture unrest, there's no other unrest, and it's just rebels plopping up out of nowhere constantly, which I find one of the most frustrating things in any game. So, yeah, it is what it is, I mean. Unless you guys are okay with me cheat winning this fight, because Thessalonica, it's massive that I lose it. It is super frustrating that I lose it. It's a lot of money, it's an essential settlement. Uh, and now it's just lost because of BS. They might even destroy some of my buildings, honestly, if they exterminated it. Which is just annoying and frustrating. And it doesn't even make much sense. Okay, so I'll just try and retake it with these guys, I suppose. They might sally out and I might trample them. But I'm gonna have to get some reinforcements in either way. So if I can put you there... Um, you can tell, I'm, I'm properly pissed off by it. Can I pick up some mercenaries that I can send south? I need troops badly. I don't know why Nassos is now unhappy, I just moved this guy out, moved him back in and suddenly they're pissed off. It just seems everyone is unhappy, like, <laughs> people can't be happy anymore. I mean, all in all, this was a bit of a frustrating episode, I'm not gonna lie, especially because of Thessalonica, that really pulled the wind out of my sails, but it is what it is. All in all, it's not that bad. Uh, we captured Sinope, we held at Khersonos, we're about to take Trapezos and Malatia, uh, of course, we also took Ras because Serbia just dishonored an alliance, even though they have two settlements and I'm literally the largest faction in the game, but that's just the mystery of the AI, I guess. Um, and of course, Thessalonica, that's quite a damper on things, but we'll retake it in the next episode, it's not going to be too much trouble, but it is a minor setback. So all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I wish I could have enjoyed it a little bit more, but all in all... It's not that bad. Who the hell is this? Wait, he yes. died? How did he die? Ioannis Axokos. Who the hell? How old was he? Uh, he was probably mighty old. Oh, he wasn't a family member. Oh, is it this guy? No. Oh, crap. That's really bad news, actually, because then I need to make sure Who do I face? that we have a general yes. in charge of the army. March. Otherwise, it's going to cost me millions. So that's at 75%. Can I move you? Okay. We're able to fix that. Because these guys are about to sally out and attack us. Two turns, four turns. We have pretty large armies around here. Okay, sorry. Uh, I can't really round off this episode. I'm struggling with it. But uh, hey, there we go. I'll see you all soon for episode number five. In which we shall hopefully claim all the lands that rightfully belong to us. And then I hope we can just kind of pacify the realm and just protect our borders a little bit because that's becoming a massive problem at the moment. There's also the situation with the Cubans over here. Uh, but more troops are on the way, but it's going to take a little bit. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all for the next one.